Cataract surgery at Vision Scotland is a very safe and successful surgery. In the majority of cases, it's a short and painless surgery with 90% of patients reporting an improvement in their vision, with recovery time lasting from two to six weeks. Over 95% of procedures are conducted without any complications, but as with any surgery, there are potential risks. The risk of something seriously going wrong that could potentially blind the eye is approximately one in 3,000. A common consequence of surgery is a burst blood vessel on the white of the eye. This is known as a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Whilst this can often look very dramatic and concerning, it is pleasingly harmless and it resolves after seven to 10 days without the need for treatment. Rarely, the cataract isn't removed in its entirety or part of it falls into the gel of the eye. In the majority of cases, this can be dealt with during the procedure or soon afterwards. You will be seeing immediately after surgery. We do not bandage the eye up, but instead use a plastic transparent shield over the eye to offer protection. Patients can expect to experience blurred vision as the eye's surface has been disrupted and it takes a few days to recover. Light sensitivity, and sometimes a drooping of the eyelids can occur. In the period after the operation, the eye can become infected. This is caused by germs getting into the eye during surgery and requires further medication. Thanks to modern antibiotics used during surgery, this is an extremely rare occurrence, typically one in three to 5,000. Take seriously any symptoms, including severe pain, rapid onset reduction of vision, progressive swelling or redness of the eye, and discharge with unpleasant odour. If you experience any of these symptoms, call our clinical inquiries line. Cataract surgery can result in an increase in the normal eye pressure. This is one of the most frequent effects of cataract surgery and usually self-resolves, but can be treated in a number of ways if it doesn't stabilise itself. Your eye pressure will be checked by your own optometrist at your six-week checkup. Swelling of the cornea, which is the eye's transparent cover, is caused by post-operative inflammation, but should naturally reduce in the days immediately after surgery and with the help of the eye drops that are prescribed. While there is swelling of the cornea, the vision will not be at its optimum level. As the new artificial lens settles into position, a condition known as dysphotopsia can occur. Symptoms are thought to be the result of light reflecting off the new artificial lens. It can appear as a curved shadow at the outer edges of a patient's vision, or flashes or bursts of light. This typically corrects as part of the healing process. Floaters, small dark shapes that can take many forms such as dots, webs or squiggly lines that float across the field of vision can appear. They represent a normal age-related change in the gel of the eye. They are often present before surgery, but go unnoticed because the cloudiness of the eye's natural lens makes it difficult to spot them. Sometimes they can occur after surgery. Whilst disconcerting, they seldom require any treatment, and in fact, the brain is generally only interested in new information and tends to ignore the photos after a few months. In a small number of cases, the artificial lens can slip out of place, causing blurred vision or double vision. In such cases, surgery will be required to reposition the lens. In approximately one in 10 cases, the lens capsule, which holds the lens, can develop a bit of scar tissue due to cataract cells remaining after surgery. If this happens, a follow-up procedure called YAG laser capsulotomy may be needed to correct the issue. This is a painless and non-invasive treatment which takes only a matter of minutes and is very successful. Retinal detachment, when the retina becomes loose, is a very rare side effect and requires surgical intervention to fix. This is a serious condition that could cause loss of vision, so needs immediate attention. Symptoms of retinal detachment include a sudden increase in the number of floaters in the eye and flashes of light in your vision. Patients can also experience a dark curtain or shadow moving across the vision, which does not go away please contact us for further advice should any of these symptoms develop.
Whilst we use the most advanced diagnostic imaging equipment in order to achieve our desired surgical outcomes, we can never completely guarantee that glasses will not be needed after surgery. We hope that this video gives you the confidence around the risks and benefits of cataract surgery. And of course, should you require any additional information, then we are happy to answer any questions at your consultation. We look forward to seeing you soon.